Hey, today we're gonna make some cheeseburger onion rings on this badger barrel. Onions, hamburger, and bacon. Now this is a pretty simple recipe to put together, not a lot of ingredients. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, I got some uh, uh, white onions here. I've uh, taken the peel off the outside. I'm gonna cut these guys in approximately one half inch chunks. Now we want to separate the rings. Now we busted that one, so that's no good for us. And you won't need these little centerpieces. But hang on to everything here and I'll show you why. Now we've got our onions here. Let me set them aside. What I've got here is a pound of ground beef and I've got about four ounces of Colby Jack cheese. Just going to mix this in all together. Doesn't take much. Now let's get back to our onions. Now we want to take these bigger slices and pack this along the rim, all along the inside here. All right, and I got maybe just a little bit too much, so I'll take a little off here. And then, once you get it packed down, you want to take this smaller slice of onion and put her in there like that. Now let me finish getting all the rest of them stuffed up so they look just like that. Now we got our onion rings here, all stuffed up. And now I'm going to come in with bacon. Go around the edge, then up through this center. I hope you can see that through this onion ring. This will help hold it all together. But you can see you don't have a lot of room here, so you have to be careful. And this will take a couple of minutes, right? So it's going to take, for this bacon anyway, it's going to take two to three pieces. There's our first one. We got our burger onion rings all wrapped up in bacon, but I did want to show you one aspect of putting this recipe together that can take a little time. When you make these, you see how this one is kind of small in the center? It really takes a lot of patience, I should say, to feed that bacon through that small hole. Um, so what I would recommend is you have a much bigger hole. The ones that had a big hole, no, you know, not too bad a problem getting the bacon through. But I had a couple like this and it took forever. I'm going to season them. I've got the Virginia Coastal Steak Rub. Hey, use whatever your favorite beef rub is. Um, if you don't have a beef rub, no, no problem. Sprinkle a little salt, pepper, and garlic on them. You don't have to have the same rub I have to make this recipe work. So what I'm going to do is just season this top side like you could uh, see I'm doing here. You want to make sure you get the back sides also. And as soon as I get them all seasoned up, we'll get over to this badger smoker. Get the lid off this badger, and then I want to just place my onion rings around. I'm not going to use any wood chunks or wood chips today. I've been cooking with this badger for a while, and it puts off a lot of smoke. I think just the dripping from the bacon and the ground beef down on that lump charcoal will get plenty of smoke. It's been roughly hour 20 minutes to hour 30. I haven't been, you know, tracking it per, you know, each minute. 
Uh, but I think we're going to have a look, maybe even turn them over. Now, I know folks will say, what temperature are you running? I, I, I don't know. I haven't checked it. But I have been running this Badger Barrel a little bit lower than when I've cooked at it in the past. Total guess has probably been running 250 to 275. Let me just get this lid off. You can see our bacon's not crisped up yet. Crisped. I'm going to turn them over. Yeah, it looks good on the back side. I'm going to get each one of these guys turned over. Now I'm going to hit this side up with a little barbecue sauce. Just uh, use whatever kind you like. The barbecue sauce you pick is not going to change the outcome. I'm using the Bear Bite blackberry. I want to hurry up and get the top sauced and get this lid back because the bottom of this uh, badger barrel is already starting to flame up. Just got two more here to go. Then we'll get this lid back down on it. Let them keep cooking, right? So that bacon on the bottom side gets looking nice. Now while those onion rings are getting that barbecue sauce all caramelized on them, let's make an onion ring dipping sauce. I've got two tablespoons of ketchup, half a teaspoon of sugar. That's about half a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. And then here I've got some Louisiana hot sauce. That's about a teaspoon of it. And then we've got half of a cup of mayonnaise. Now let's just get this all mixed in. Let's give it a little taste. It's just something else. Gonna add a pinch of salt, not even an eighth of a teaspoon. Pinch of black pepper, just a little more. Maybe another eighth of a teaspoon of that red wine vinegar for just a little bit more tang. Now that's what I'm talking about. Hey, it's been 10 more minutes. Let me get this lid off. We're gonna turn them again and glaze the other side. You can see that sun coming through. It's getting in the uh, later afternoon. So I'm just going to quickly get this side glazed up. They sure do smell good. And the color looks pretty good to me. All right. It's been 10 more minutes. I think that sauce should be plenty caramelized. Let's check them. I think we're gonna get them off this Badger Barrel. There's our cheeseburger, onion rings, and our dip. Let's cut into one of them. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Just cut one in half. We'll all look at it together. I almost dropped the fork, I almost dropped the knife. There's our burger and our onion ring, all of our bacon. We're gonna dip it in that sauce, onion ring sauce. <laughs> so I've never made these before and they are delicious. My buddy Sal over at the Root Boy Cooks, I saw he's made them. I, I tell you, you have got to try this. And those onions are so soft and delicious. And that dipping sauce has got that tang to it. It's incredible. Hey, I've got two more barbecue appetizer recipes down below.